Bonjour everyone. Welcome back to my channel The World of French by Shikha. The learning is very very easy. In today's video I will be solving the exercises of lesson number 1 of Ide Zero book. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's begin. So today we are going to solve the exercises of lesson yun of Ide Zero book. So let's move to the first exercise. So the first exercise says that trouve le mot. That means find the word. Basically, the jumbled words are given, and we have to find word from it. For example, the A part they have given that is balo. Balo is ball. Let's try the second one. That is sha. Sha is cat. The third one. The third one is yach. Yach is yach. Fourth one. That is fear. Fear is Girl. Fifth one, that is Om. Om is a man. So it's Balu, Sha, Yach, Fear, and Om. Now let's move to the second exercise. The second exercise says that Reli. Reli means match. So the words are given, and we have to match these words with the given pictures. So let's find out first the meaning of the words. So A part is written oiseau. What is an oiseau? Oiseau is a bird. Yes. Next B, lampadaire. Lampadaire is street lamp. And C part is wagon. Wagon is a cart that that is used for picking up sand. Now let's move to the third exercise. The third exercise says that. Complete les voyelles manquantes. That means complete the missing vowels. So we have to complete the words by putting the missing vowels so that it becomes a word. Let's see the A part. That is sable. Sable is sand. B. Yes, you guessed it right. It is avion. Avion is airplane. C part that is drapu drapu is flag and which flag they have shown that is drapu français D part that is image image is image and last one you know that it is sha sha is cat let's move to the next exercise so the first fourth exercise is just that écoute et chante that means listen and sing so you also repeat after me and say a b c d u m o d a f g h o j a k h k h i j k l k o m t u t a p e l m n o p t u a d k e l p q r s t o p e r e s t U V W X Y E Z. Now let's move to the next exercise. The next exercise says that écoute et appelle les prénoms. That means listen and spell the names. Prénom is name. Puis complète le tableau. Then complete the ta table. The way they have given, so we have to write down the alphabets the way they have given. For example, first one is Sophie. So the spellings of Sophie are S O P H E O. Okay. Now the second one, the word is, and moreover, we have to write down these names under the category of prénom de garçon. That means name of boys. Prenom the fear or the name of girls. So let's see the second one. That is Loro. Loro. What are the spellings? L A U A R O N T. And Loro is the name of boy. So prenom the car. So write it down under that table. 
Second one, it is Jean. So the spellings are G O R N, and Jean is the name of a boy. So write it down under the category of prénom de garçon. Third one, Thomas. Thomas. That is the spellings are T H O M A S. And Thomas is obviously the name of a boy, or you can say garçon. Now let's move ahead. That is Marie. What are the spellings? M A R E A Marie. Marie is the name of a fear. So write down under the table of prénom the fear. Next one, Michel. Michel. The spellings are M E C H A and which axo is there over a? That is axograph. L A. So Michel is the name of a girl. So write down under the category of prénom the fear. Next, it is written quoi phonetic. Écoute et observe. Écoute that means listen, and observe that means observe. So basically, they have given you the sounds of les voyelles that are the vowels. Le son a. Le son means the sound a. They have given some words. Table. Table is table. Ra. Rat. Ballon. Ball. Then le son a. Long. That is lamb. Sable. That is sand. Q. That's a tail. Le son i. That's an ami. Ami is friend. Fear. That's a girl. Nib. That's a nest. Le son o. For example, do. Do is back. Rose. That's a rose, or you can say a color also. Velo. Velo is bicycle. Le son u. The sound u. Uniform. That's a uniform. Tunnel. That's tunnel. Lunette. That are spectacles or specs. Le son j. Sorry. Le son y. That is yach. That's a yach. Yo yo. That's yo yo. Zio. Zio is eyes. Okay. I hope the sounds of Le Voyel is clear. Now let's move ahead to the next exercise. Now the next exercise is Kua Culture. Kua Culture, that's the culture and the civilization of France. So Les Sorties de Paris, that means the famous monuments at Paris. So in the next exercise that is given on the next page, that is Ecoute Complet, that is related with the pictures that are given on the previous page. For example, the first one is La Tour Eiffel, that's Eiffel Tower, Le Musée Grema, that's a famous museum with the name Grema, Notre Dame de Paris, that's a famous church at Paris, Le Louvre, a famous museum, Disneyland, that's a Disneyland, Le Sacré Coeur, that's again a famous church, Lac de Triomphe, that's a famous monument that is in France. So the next exercise it says that écoute et complète that means listen and complete. So you have to listen to me and you have to say tell me that whether the monument that I'm speaking is a Le Parc Adventure that means it's an adventure park or Le Musée that means is it a museum, Le Monument or it's a monument, L'Eglise or it's a church or La Cathedrale that means again it's a church okay so let's see so you are going to take the help from the pictures of the previous page so that's why i have joined these two pages so listen to the first one i say la tour eiffel est a monument la tour eiffel est a monument so la tour eiffel that is number one est a monument 
That means it's a monument. So it will come under the category of Le Monument. So write down number one under Le Monument. Now listen to our second one. I say Le Louvre, Le Louvre est un musée. Est un musée. Le Louvre est un musée. Le Louvre, that's a museum. Est un musée, that means it's a museum. So it will come under the category of Le Musée. So write down number four here. Why? Because here they have given number four to the museum. Then listen to my third one. I say Greva est un musée. Greva est un musée. Greva est un musée. Greva is a museum. So this one will also come under the category of Le Musée. So write down number two here. Then listen to my fourth one. I say Disneyland est un parc d'aventure. Disneyland est un parc d'aventure. That means Disneyland is a park of adventure. So under which category it will come? It will come under the category of Le Parc d'aventure. So write down number five here. Now listen to my next one. I say. Notre Dame de Paris est une cathédrale. Notre Dame de Paris est une cathédrale. So, it from the name only it suggests that it will come under the category of la cathédrale. So, write down number three here. Next, I say le Sacré Cœur est une église. Le Sacré Cœur est une église. Le Sacré Cœur est une église, that means is a church. So write down under the category of l'église. So write down number six here. Then last one, listen to me, I say L'Arc de Triomphe est un monument. L'Arc de Triomphe, that's the famous arc in France, est un monument. So it will come under the category of monuments. Okay. Again, I'm repeating the numbers. So, Lac de Monture. So, Le Parc de Monture. It's number 5. Le Musée. 4 and 2. Le Monument. 1 and 7. L'Eglise. Number 6. La Cathedrale. Number 3. I hope the exercise was clear to you. Now, let's move to the last one. It says that, Fais un dessin. Make a drawing. Pour ton quiz. For your quiz. Arrange les voyelles. And arrange the vowels a gauche on the left and les consonnes a droit and the consonants on the right. So just just the way they have given a drawing. Okay, for example, papio. In the same way, you are going to take a word and out of that, on left hand side you will write down les voyelles and on the right hand side you will write down les consonnes. So with this, we have completed the exercise of lesson number one of Ide Zero book. So that was all for today. I hope all the exercises are clear to you. So if you want to solve more exercises with me, then stay tuned to my channel by subscribing it. And don't you forget to give your likes and your comments on my videos because your appreciation means a lot to me. So till the time I post my next video, au revoir and a bientôt. And you know it, what does Oriva means? Oriva means goodbye and Abianto means see you soon.